Now I wanna actually show you guys something else that is a little bit more advanced that you might not know that you could actually do and it has to deal with do, 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 do. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight hundred dollars. All right, so that was just dramatics in the very beginning. I promise y'all it was fake money. Look, this money is like extra fake. I'm not ripping $800. <laughs> so you all have seen me talk about this product right here in my other videos, which is the uh, USB-C hub enclosure with the external SSD. And you've seen me talk about the one for the M1 Mac mini as well. Now, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys the secret sauce of how you guys can save $800 and put that back into you guys' pocket. How you guys can actually set up and configure this to your M1 Mac mini, iMac, as well as your MacBook Pro and your MacBook Air if you got any of those devices. So let's go ahead and talk about it. Okay, okay, iMac, let's play. M1, it's May. Bossed up, cause it's my birthday. Woo. Undressing like I'm trying to get the first base. Uh -huh. With these chips, man, they leading in the first place. Good. With all these colors, man, I'm trying to catch the bouquet. Tell me what you need, more bars, greed halfway. Touch the keys, never freeze, let it breathe. Matching knees, man, please. Magic mouse in the house, when in doubt, let it out. Gain clout, let's ride. If you rock with this intro, hit the like button. If you proud, it's a sub, say it loud. Uh -huh. Let's get this video poppin', spit some facts, break it down one time for the squad. Squad. <laughs> So if you guys are new here and you haven't watched any of my M1 Mac Mini as well as my M1 iMac content, I always talk about how you guys can actually save money with buying just these two devices right here that I personally use for myself and I personally vouch for. But before I actually break down and give you guys all the sauce on how to actually save money, I want you guys right now comment down below how many likes is on this video at the time that you guys are watching. And I'm going to be giving you guys the secret sauce on how you guys can save money when buying the Mac Mini or a new iMac. So you know when you guys buy an Apple computer let's say you buy a new iMac they actually gonna try and sell you guys one terabyte of SSD storage for $400 more which is this right here and $800 more for just two terabytes of storage which is way too high and just borderline ridiculous and it's the same on the M1 Mac mini so what I do and what I recommend you guys do is go to this website that I found where I buy all of my Apple accessories from called the applenest.com and buy this USB-C hub with SATA SSD enclosure all you guys got to do is just slide off the front like so take this SSD drive right here and just plop it right in here like so and I'm gonna show you guys how to do that here in a second and then also you guys can also buy this one here for the Mac mini now I highly recommend this one here a uh, MacBook Pro or the brand new M1 iMac or MacBook Air or something like that but if you guys have something like a Mac mini this is the one that I recommend for you guys right here and then on the back of it you literally just plop this off and it has the enclosure that is built right into it. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do all of that here in a second. Now I have the hub for whatever Mac that you guys are using that's gonna work best for you guys down in the description section below for you guys to actually check that out. Then all you guys gotta do once you have your enclosure, just buy the Samsung Evo 870 that I'll have linked for you guys down in the description section below. That's literally only $114 on the applenest.com and they actually got a bundle right now that you guys can buy where you get this and this on sale and you guys can actually scoop that up before they actually raise the prices. But getting this external unit for just $99, depending on which one you guys are getting and which model, it's also free shipping. Then the SSD drive here is only $114 for one terabyte and combine that with the enclosure, it's only like $220, opposed to spending $400 to $800 on the same speed drives that's gonna give you literally the same performance. Trust me guys, I use it every single day. I use it to edit this video that you guys are watching right now, saving you guys $200 to $600 and putting that right back into your pocket. Or you can buy AirPods, a keyboard, a mouse, or whatever you guys may wanna spend that money on, you guys can do so. Whether you guys are using a USB-C hub with the SATA SSD enclosure that I recommend for the Mac mini, which is this one right here, or whether you guys are using this one here, which I recommend for the iMac or recommend for MacBook Pro or MacBook Air, I'm gonna show you guys how to configure both of these the right way, get it set up so that way you guys are good to go. And again, I'll have links for everything down in the description section below. You just got your USB-C hub with the enclosure, right? So the first thing you want to do is unscrew the back. If you got this one, you want to unscrew this back and you want to go ahead and take this drive right here and you want to literally just put it right inside of here like so push it down so that way it's in the prongs and then take this back put it back on top and you're good to go or if you guys got this one what you want to do is, is just slide off the back like you see right here this just slides off 
you're going to take your ssd drive and you see they have these little prong here you literally just align your drive up slide it in like so and then just take the back put it in like here slide it in and you're good to go. Now, the next thing you guys wanna do is go ahead and plug it right into your machine using the provided USB-C cable. So you just plug it right into the back of here like so, and then plug this other end into your Mac. Now, once that is in, now on your Mac, you guys are gonna actually see the drive pop up on your screen, but it is not ready for you guys to use just yet because there's an important step that I recommend you guys do before you start saving stuff to your drive. Now, the first thing you guys want to do is go to this utility app on your Mac mini, your iMac, your MacBook Pro, or even your MacBook Air, so we can actually format this drive right here. So CK, what the heck does formatting a drive actually mean? Well guys, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> so think of it as like setting up a drive to properly be used on a device that you guys have it connected to. But most importantly, for it to be compatible with your machine. And it also will go ahead and clear out any of the hidden things that might be on that drive that might have been pre-installed from the actual manufacturer themselves, i.e. Samsung. It's always best to format your SSD drive before you begin using it. I even do this with my SD cards on my camera before I actually shoot my videos that you guys are seeing right here on the channel. Just just because I want to make sure I have a clean shoot and what I record or save to that car or in this case save to the external drive I won't have any issues with it later on down the line see now y'all don't learn something you know what formatting a drive does now you can go ahead brag to your friends about it and act like you knew what it was the whole time <laughs> so once you're in the dish utility app right if you guys don't see the dish utility app just go ahead and go to spotlight search area type in dish utility and select it from there see you learn something else hey your boy out here teaching y'all that new new <laughs> So on the left hand side here inside of the disk utility app, you're going to see internal as well as external. Now, by this being an outside drive that we connected to the Mac, we want to go ahead and focus on the external area in the disk utility app. So go ahead and click on the drive name under the external. Then at the top, you're going to see first aid partition, which we're going to get back to erase and restore and mount. We want to go ahead and click on erase. And this is going to do literally just that. It's going to erase everything that's on the drive and start the formatting process. So the next step here is a decision making moment. Now, you guys for yourself are going to have to decide if you want this same drive to be able to be used on a PC and a Mac or on a Mac only. So what I mean is, do you plan on ejecting it from your Mac machine and plugging it into a PC and expecting it to work and vice versa? Or do you plan on only using it on a Mac machine? Now, reason I'm asking you guys this is because if you plan on using it on a PC and a Mac, you want to click the format drop down and select X fact. Now, this is going to allow you guys to be able to use this on a cross platform on PC and Mac. But if you guys plan only to use it on an Apple device, then you want to select APFS, which stands for Apple File System. Now, you can use an APFS formatted drive on a Windows machine, yes, but it is not natively. You will have to find or download a third-party application that will allow your Windows machine to be able to read your APFS formatted drive, and it's just a headache. Click on Erase and let it do its thing. Now you guys are able to go ahead and start dragging and dropping your stuff right onto your hard drive as well as working from it as well. Now I wanna actually show you guys something else that is a little bit more advanced that you might not know that you could actually do and it has to deal with partitioning your drive. So remember I mentioned earlier about partitioning this video that's right up here at the top. Well, think of partitioning your drive. It's like splitting this single drive right here into like four or five different drives that's gonna show up on your Mac. So for example, let's say I have this one terabyte drive right here and I literally wanna split it in half and for it to be used on Mac and PC, well, you guys can do that with partitioning. All you guys gotta do is go into partition and click on the plus icon and it will evenly start splitting up the drive and you guys can name one side of it working drive and then the other have Mac backup. And the other cool thing is, like I said, is you can have one side to only be able to work with the Mac and then you can have the other side be able to work with Mac and PC depending on which uh, formatting selection you select in that drop down menu that we talked about earlier. Now, the other cool thing is you can actually click here and you can drag around and actually actually put in the size that you guys want to have dedicated for certain things within this drive, which is actually really dope. Then after all of that is done, the next thing we wanna do is go ahead and click on apply and boom, we are good to go. Now it's gonna go ahead and go through the drive. It's gonna create the separate mini drives that I just talked about and place it right on your computer for you guys to be able to access it. And then you can just use that amount of space for whatever you guys want it to be used for. Well, there you guys have it. Again, I will have links for everything down in the description section below. Hope 
hope you guys was able to learn something. I showed you guys how to actually save some money, show you guys the proper way of being able to set up your external drive or with any drive that you guys get, this is how you guys are gonna set it up on any of your Mac machines. And I'll have links for everything down in the description section below because I highly, highly recommend you guys buy this USB-C hub, whether you have a Mac mini or an iMac, a MacBook Pro, or just a MacBook Air. Trust me, y'all, it is clutch. And you guys can get them where I bought mine at the applenest.com. Thanks again for watching. See y'all in the next one, squad. <laughs> now go ahead and tell your friends that you learned something new so they can stop saving stuff to their internal drive on their Mac computers and start saving it to an external drive. Just send them this video.